Ladies and gents, welcome back to a full review. So this is Bottle Pacific. Uh, this is a limited edition. Uh, I'm not sure um, if this they plan on getting rid of this after a, a little while, but this is a limited edition bottle. Uh, this class, this fragrance is a kind of a aquatic type of fragrance. This fragrance has a vibe of like you, you just want to be like on a beach, on vacation, just kind of enjoying yourself, relaxing. This isn't an uptight fragrance. This is a fragrance kind of like for fun. I believe this fragrance will be able to deliver all that for you. Now, first off, I want to thank everybody for coming back to watch another video. Uh, my name is Josh, by the way, and this is Scent Vibes. And what we do here, we talk about fragrances and uh, random things occasionally. But uh, today we'll be doing a review. Now, if this is your first time, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you like the House of Hugo Boss, go ahead and give the video a like. Uh, you're probably wondering what happened to my finger. Well, your boy kind of got a little careless and wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. So I did a little snip snip and I was like, ah, and blood was like, pew, pew. And I was like, oh, no, run. So yeah, but I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so you'll be seeing this thumb every so often while I'm trying to talk to you guys about the fragrance. Uh, hopefully it's not too distracting. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the notes of Hugo Boss's Bottle Pacific has top notes of lemon essence, salted accord. In the heart notes, you have coconut accord with cypress. And in the base notes, you have sandalwood notes and cashmere wood. Now guys, let me go ahead and give myself a fresh spray of this one here. Yes. So when you can first get this fragrance and you spray it on, you're gonna get a nice, and it has no alcohol spray on it. Like, you know, you have you first spray a fragrance on for the first time. Sometimes you might get a little bit of alcohol essence maybe inside the fragrance. Well, this doesn't have any of it. You get a nice blast of lemon you get a nice blast of a little bit of a green note and that's coming from the cypress and you get that coconut and that coconut comes off the top you get it from the rip and some fragrances kind of have to develop into that coconut note no you get it right away uh so you start to get that lemon the cypress and the coconut and that salty accord just kind of just making you feel like you're by the beach just relaxing by the ocean side and your toes in the sand Guys, this fragrance is just fun. It's it's really enjoyable for me. Uh, I find it had it it has a uh, an unoriginal type of identity to it, but it's still a really good fragrance. Um, now, once it starts to dry down, it takes maybe about mm, maybe about an hour or so for it to start to pull back from those dominating coconut notes. Um, but once those notes starts to regress, some of this, the coconut, the saltiness, you start to pick up on some of those woods and the woods kind of add like a creamy element to the fragrance. Uh, I don't find this fragrance to be, to be overly sweet. I feel like some people don't really like the note of coconut. I feel like this fragrance isn't one of those fragrances that you would want to shy away from because of the note of coconut. I feel like it's just it's doing just enough. I feel like maybe the lemon is taking the edge away from that. The saltiness is probably taken away from that and the green element. And the woody elements, once it starts to dry down, you get those woody, the woody elements for the life of the fragrance. You get a little hint of the coconut, but the saltiness starts to, you know, pretty much gone for me off my skin and uh, the green note. I pretty much just get a woody accord and a coconut accord. Uh, now let's go ahead and talk about the performance. Now guys, Hugo Boss fragrances, they're really, especially the bottle uh, fragrances, they're not known for their performances. Like that's not what they're known for. I believe they, they do smell good. I had another fragrance from Hugo Boss that I actually own. I bought that when it was at Discounters. It was called uh, Unlimited. It came in with a white bottle with like green lettering, I believe. And that one didn't necessarily last all that long either, but it smelled great. I used it as like one of my daily wears for work and I uh, wore that with one of my other uh, go-to work scents. It was just like a cheap fragrance that you could just spray on and smell really good. You didn't have to worry about it being offensive because it didn't project much. And this bottle here falls in that same category. Uh, it doesn't project a ton. I tried, I oversprayed and my wife, you know, after like 20 30 minutes or so she was just like the fragrance i don't smell it anymore and you know i can smell it on myself though uh it's just one of those fragrances that you will have to enjoy only for yourself basically uh like basically i get maybe like four to five hours on, of longevity on skin at max at the absolute max uh as far as on clothes you get about seven seven to eight hours uh, i had to spray it on clothes to get a little bit more 
of a feel for this fragrance. And I often don't spray myself on my clothes, but I had to spray myself with this fragrance here. But uh, as long as you do that, you will be able to enjoy the fragrance yourself. But people outside of me, myself and I, they just weren't able to smell that fragrance after like 20 minutes or so. Um, I just got to reiterate, this is a fragrance for you and yourself alone. But go ahead and try it out for yourself. Go ahead and get a sample. Just try it out because I really I am curious uh, if it actually performs a little bit better on you guys. Maybe my skin just eating this is just eating this one up. Now, character, again, I meant to mention this one doesn't have a, a ton of character as far as the coconut fragrance game goes. Uh, it's not done doing a ton of uh, things differently here. It has like a, limp, a, a citrus element in the opening. Uh, it has like an aquatic feel. So it's it's very similar to some other fragrances out there. Now, it's different than the dry down than what I get from Cree's version of Island Water. Uh, it's also different than uh, Le Bleu from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I believe this fragrance here is an all year rounder fragrance. And this here is more of a summertime spring type of fragrance. Something you can just spray on really easy, dumb wear, just kind of enjoy yourself and you don't really have to think about it. This is right here. I feel like because of that vanilla and the coconut that's in this fragrance, I think it just makes it more rounded for, you know, outside of this the summertime. I feel like a lot of people try to throw this one in a box and it's not, uh, it's not just classified as a summer fragrance for me personally now as far as appeal i believe this is a very uh, I mean, if you're really sensitive to the note of coconut then maybe you not might not want to try it but i feel like uh many people will gravitate towards this one as a summer scent something that they can easily wear without a problem maybe to the beach or on vacation you don't have to worry about this one too much now, as far as value is concerned, I believe this is because of the performance. It's not necessarily original. I believe in a lot of times Hugo Boss's fragrances, they do get heavily discounted. So uh, you might want to wait a couple of months before you buy this one, unless you like it that much. I got this one luckily from Influencer. So I really am thankful that I was able to get this one for free and uh, I was able to try it out and enjoy it. I actually do enjoy the scent a lot, uh, but I believe you, if you want to wait a little bit, this one will be discounted. I don't believe it's worth retail. It's over a hundred bucks. I believe you can get this one for at least 80 and below and you'll be happy with that. So as far as occasion goes, you don't really have to worry about being offensive to the next person uh, that's on your right or your left. Now, as far as gender, I believe this is a, you know, this is a unisex scent. There's nothing that I find that is a uh, masculine vibe that it's just like a woman shouldn't wear this or a woman you know maybe it's a feminine vibe where a, a man shouldn't wear it i feel like this is right in the middle unisex as far as age goes i feel like this could fit any age and guys I, as far as overall uh i really do like this scent it's it's a really enjoyable scent i do find it um a little high for the price at the moment you know maybe a year down the road you'll find this one for maybe 70 bucks or less uh but right now it's over like i believe it's 104 retail and that's without tax but you know for you know most some people that might be okay you know if you really enjoy the notes you can find this at your local department stores uh go ahead and sample it i believe you guys should do that for yourselves um this fragrance might be right up your alley um i will be wearing this one i as you see i've already been wearing it a lot and it by the time if i decide to do like a you know a comprehensive video near the end of the year or, or during the summertime you might find this one like right around here who knows but uh, we'll see as time goes on i might start gravitating towards other scents but uh guys as far as a rating goes for this one i'm gonna have to give this one a mm, seven and a half out of ten strictly on smell um I just wish it performed better. I wish somebody was able to smell it off of me. And that's why I gave it the score I'm giving it. All right, guys, that is my review of Bottled Pacific by Hugo Boss. Hope that helped you out in any way. I really try to make these videos comprehensive for you guys so that you can make your best buying decision when you're trying to look for your next fragrances. So until my next video, I hope you guys are keep smelling great. Make sure you look out for your neighbor and check on them. Make sure they're doing all right. And until next time, deuces.